Dean Morton, how are you this afternoon? I'm in great shape. Good, glad <laughs> to hear it. Uh, I brought some photographs of the stone yard. Yeah. And I'd love for you to take a look mm -hmm. and tell me a little bit about how the stone yard got started and the, the amazing work that uh, came out of there. Well, that's really an easy thing to start with because <clears throat> When I came to the cathedral, um, everyone said, you know, it's nice to have someone to do something to St. John the Unfinished. I said, well, that's not a very nice thing. You know, cathedrals take a hell of a long time to get built. And they um, <clears throat> said, well, are you going to do something about that? And I said, yeah. What I really want to do is to Something was rather radical. Um, stone carving in America was a dead art. And so many of the great buildings that were put up in the 19th century and the first part of the 20th century um, <clears throat> had carved, carved parts like great um, entryways and that sort of thing. And then Quote, with the modern movement, um, that was that was dead. And what happened to me was um, I was lucky enough after I graduated from Harvard, where I was studying architecture because I wanted to be an architect. Um, I got a scholarship to go to England two cathedrals in particular in England, which had never been finished, um, continued the old method of building cathedrals, which was to have a stone yard right there and train young men, no women. Um, that was another thing I did. I got women in it. Yes, you did. Um, <laughs> um, to, well, to, to train by older stone um, masons, the art, the traditional art of stone masonry. And then I went over to England and brought over the English men who would come back like Alan Bird. And, uh, and, and Bamberg was, of course, the one who started it, really. So it was a, it was, it was a wonderful sort of renaissance of uh, bringing back something that was very, very important in, 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 the, in the cultural history of the world, and certainly in, in architecture, and certainly in, in religion. And they put them all together, and that's what happened at the cathedral building period. The whole building program had a sort of an A and a B section. In the A section, it started with training young men and women to become stone cutters. And what they were doing was cutting, and part of that cutting was carving the, the blocks that were the basic blocks. But then the second part of it was stone carving itself. And that was, um, it was a 10 year program, and the carving really didn't begin until about the fifth year. And um, <clears throat> because you had to have something to carve. And, we, and so we had to start with just the, the big blocks. And um, but then the, 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 the carving itself, um, a wonderful Reuben here, um, um, was a, a new and very exciting thing and um, brought artistic instincts in, in, in these stone cutters that they didn't know they had. And it, it, it was altogether a um, one of the most creative aspects of my 25 years at the cathedral. I loved it. What do you think of some of the carvings here? The, the finished. Well, I think they're absolutely wonderful because one of the things that they recaptured was carving with a sense of humor. I mean, look at look at this picture of you know, I'm going, ah, you know, I mean, that, that, it's just a scream. Um, 
But here we are, and that's one of my favorite pictures because it shows the work continuing itself. And um, well, it, it 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 will continue because cathedrals are um, cathedrals are part of our civilization. And I hope to God, um, <clears throat> in the near future, it can start again, because it, it was a, it was really a revolutionary thing to train people to, to be stonecutters again, and um, <clears throat> every everybody was excited about it. We had many, many, I mean, dozens of magazine articles yes, about sir. the cathedral building again. I remember that. Yeah, it, it was really one of the most exciting things in, in American life, and training people to become stone, stone cutters. And then most particularly, people were very glad that we, on the edge of Harlem, got African American young men and women to become stone cutters. And they were so proud because they, they, they knew that they were the first of a new creation, really, and <clears throat> within the black community and um, just within the artistic community. So it was, it, it was a great, great thing. And I, I, I just am so fortunate to have been able to start that. And, <clears throat> and I, I, I pray that it will continue again. Um, some crazy man like me will be the dean sometime and um, say, let's let's continue building the cathedrals. It, it needs it needs more. It needs another tower. <laughs>